वेलकम बैक टू अव वीडियो गाइज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल यू दैट आई हैव चेंज माई चैनल्स नेम फ्रॉम टेक विद उसामा टू टेक वू और यू मे वॉन्ट टू कॉल इट टेक डब्ल्यू यू दिस हैज बीन डन फॉर द बेटर फ्यूचर ऑफ द चैनल एंड आई होप यू गाइज विल सपोर्ट माई डिसीजन एंड यू वोट माइंड इट लेट्स फोकस ऑन आवर टूडेज वीडियो नाउ आई एम गोना कंपेयर द एस ट्वेंटी वन फैन एडिशन पिक्जल सिक्स एंड द आई फोन थर्टीन टूडे दिस वॉज अ लॉन्ग ड्यू वीडियो विच आई एम डूइंग नाउ बिकॉज आई थिंक Test 21 FE's price makes more sense now and hence this comparison makes more sense as well. All of this will be explained in this video but let's just start it off with the design and the build. All of these are entirely different looking devices and this diversity of choices makes it easy for users to go with the one that they like the most aesthetically. Design is a completely subjective choice here. I personally like the design of the Pixel 6 the most. It's the most unique looking phone in this lot while S21 FE and the iPhone 13 are using the designs of their predecessors. Build wise, the iPhone 13 is the most solid and premium phone with the Gorilla Glass Victus on its front and back and a very rigid aluminum frame. Pixel 6 is the next with Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, 6 at the back and again an aluminum frame. The S21 FE is a bit off with its plastic build. It does have aluminum frame and it's also using the Gorilla Glass Victus on the front. Some users will find the S21 FE the better choice because plastic doesn't easily break uh, if it falls off. The S21 FE because of its plastic build happens to be the lightest phone in this lot. Pixel 6 and iPhone 13 are considerably heavy devices. All these three phones are equally thin. None of these offer a headphone jack. while all are occupied with a dual stereo speaker setup you will get the best possible sound output from the iPhone 13 the second best is the S21 FE and the last one is the Pixel 6 furthermore all these phones offer the wireless and reverse wireless charging and all of these are water and dust resistant as well in terms of the screens there is a huge difference between all the three phones let me break it down S21 FE has got a dynamic AMOLED 2x screen with 120 Hz refresh rate and 1200 nits peak brightness. Pixel 6 is using an AMOLED screen with 90 Hz refresh rate and 800 nits of peak brightness. iPhone 13 is using Super Retina XDR OLED display with 60 Hz refresh rate. and 1200 nits peak brightness colors and contrast on the pixel 6 at times seem a bit off but it works well for most of the time both the S21 FE and iPhone 13 have super rich and excellent looking screens that perform great uh, outdoor under broad daylight conditions as well i am not going to talk about the bezels or the notch on these phones the differences that i just explained are enough for you guys to decide which display is the best one among these for security you get an in display scanner face id unlock on the S21 FE Pixel 6 does have fingerprint reader but doesn't offer face id unlock iPhone 13 offers face id unlock and doesn't have a fingerprint scanner and to be honest i would like to have both on my phone and for that reason i would like the S21 FE on the software end you get android 12 on both the S21 FE and the Pixel 6 iPhone 13 uses iOS 15 and the user experience on all the phones is entirely different. S21 FE's Android 12 is themed by One UI 4. It's a feature-rich UI and it's got some features like the wireless text, secure folder, and a lot of good gesture options that make it a great choice. Pixel 6 uses stock Android. The plus point is that it doesn't have any extra apps that would annoy you. It's got some cool features like the back tap gesture but Pixel 6 since uh, the day it came out has been fighting with underlying bugs Google's still struggling to fix the bugs iPhone 13's iOS 15 is a much improved and stable operating system and certainly the most secure one too here's how you can choose one between these three when it comes to the software first of all you have to ask yourself whether you want Android or iOS if it's the iOS The iPhone 13 is the obvious choice but if it's Android ask yourself one more question would you like to use One UI or stock Android and now you will have a clear answer 
For your further information, S21 FE will go all the way up to Android 16, Pixel 6 will go up to Android 15 and I am assuming that you already know that Apple's software lifecycle is quite long. It's certainly longer than the Android phones. I went ahead to compare the hardware on all these devices. We have a very nice mix of chipsets here, the Exynos 2100, Google Tensor and Apple A15. The benchmark scores will give you a good idea of the performance here. These benchmark scores were conducted back to back. Exynos 2100 is just not up to the mark when it comes to the performance. It loses to Tensor chipset and the Tensor loses to Apple A15. In the end, the Apple A15 is the performance king. The Geekbench scores for the A15 Bionic chipset uh, come out on the top too. To make more sense out of this test, I edited some videos. First of all, in the Premiere Rush application, the same video was used across all the phones in this test. The results were not very surprising for me. I did the same in the Viva video application. A same video clip was edited on all the phones and exported it into a 720p clip. The results this time will also appear on your screen just like the previous test. I also edited some photos in the Lightroom application first. And lastly, I edited a photo in the Snapseed app on all the phones. I'm not gonna do an app opening speed test because I think that's a highly irrelevant test and I won't be including that in my future videos either. Let's talk about the cameras now. First, let's get the camera specs out of the way. As far as the camera apps are concerned, you get a feature rich top notch app on the S21 FE with features like the pro mode, pro video mode, portrait video mode, raw format for shooting photos, the option to switch between the front and rear cameras while recording a video, super slow with motion detection button, director's view and so on. You do get some of these features on the other two devices but most are limited to the S21 FE only. Pixel 6 has a basic camera application. Some features that I like in this uh, camera's app are the nightscape, the top shot and a couple of other features. It does a good job. The iPhone 13's camera app also has some neat tricks up its sleeve and uh, its video capabilities are undoubtedly the best ones with the best resolution options available. Let's compare some rear camera videos now. First of all, all these phones can record up to 4K at 60 frames per second rear camera videos. What the S21 FE can't do is to record the ultra wide 60 FPS videos. This is something that both the iPhone 13 and the Pixel 6 can do. I find the stabilization the best one on the iPhone 13. After that, it has to be the S21 FE for me and then the Pixel 6. The video resolution details are mentioned on your screen throughout these videos. Another thing to keep in mind is that, like I said before, S21 FE can switch between front and rear cameras while recording a video because it has the same video options for front and rear camera. Pixel 6 is limited to 1080p at 30fps for the front camera. iPhone 13 can also record up to 4K at 60fps videos from the front camera but it still can't switch between front and the rear cameras. Watch the videos and you will get the front camera videos on your screen in a while.
Hi guys, uh, so this is the front camera comparison between the S41 FE, Pixel 6 and the iPhone 13. This is a 1080p at 30 frames per second video. Unfortunately, Pixel 6 is limited to 1080p at 30 frames per second only for its front camera. While the S21 FE and iPhone 13 can go up to 4K at 60 frames per second from their front cameras. I'll show you those resolution comparisons between the S21 FE and the iPhone 13. For now, the resolution info and which mic is in use will be appearing right here underneath on the screen for these front camera videos you guys have to be the judge and you have to drop your own detailed analysis down in the comment section let's just switch and compare the other two devices now what you're looking at right now is a 4k at 30 frames per second video clip and this is the comparison between the S41 FE and the iPhone 13 only because the Google Pixel 6 is out of the competition here. Uh, in the previous video, the iPhone 13 was a little away because that is how my DIY tripod is built and I can't do nothing about it. Uh, but once again, you guys have to be the judge for this front camera video and you have to drop your own thoughts underneath in the comment section. I'll switch to the 60 FPS resolution now. Okay, now this one is 4K at 60 frames per second video. The frame rate is high to the frame rate is high so the, the stability will get a little hurt. But I think the iPhone 13 is not going to take a hit here because its stability is the best. Actually Apple has implemented the same kind of stabilization in all of the new iPhone smartphones and the S21 FE uh, doesn't get the same treatment as the flagship S21 series as a cost cutting measure. I am walking and let me show you around. And like the previous videos, you guys have to be the judge. So drop your comments below and make sure that you have subscribed and liked this video. Let's take a look at some ultra wide photos now. First of all, the S21 FE's ultra wide zoom is 0.5x. It's 0.6x for the iPhone 13 and 0.7x for the Pixel 6. The color tone across all the devices is different. Pixel 6 has the warmest image, S21 FE has a cool tone. A very neutral tone with the blue sky on the S iPhone 13 can be seen. In terms of the details, the S21 FE is doing the best. I also find the dynamic range much better on the S21 FE. Now this is your look at a normal image. The color tone differences remain the same once again. S21 FE has a brighter image and it looks more vibrant too. This time the iPhone's image is a bit dull. Pixel 6 again has the warmest image, details are higher on the S21 FE and Pixel 6 as well I think. You look at the portrait mode images, I think the normal portrait mode is the best one on the iPhone 13. I would declare the S21 FE the second best and the Pixel 6 the last. Both the S21 FE and Pixel 6 can take 3x or 2x portraits respectively while the iPhone stays at 1x. This is your look at the same. I will now show you a number of images including the ultra wide normal images in both the outdoor and the indoor environment. And all the upcoming images are for you guys to analyze. Watch the upcoming images with full attention and drop your own detailed analysis down in the comment section. Let me know which phone's overall camera performance looks better to you. Let's talk about the selfies now. You get the best selfie details from the S21 FE. It might be due to uh, a much better camera sensor on the S21 FE. It's got a 32 megapixels camera on the front after all. iPhone 13 has a slightly saturated and warm selfies. Uh, Pixel 6 is trying to stay neutral once again. Overall selfies from the iPhone 13 are quite soft, sharp on the S21 FE. The portrait mode is the best one on the iPhone 13 once again with S21 FE falling at the second place and the Pixel 6 doesn't have a very good edge detection. It's wiping off more edges than it actually should. But you know what, the selfie result at the end of the day, it's a subjective choice. Therefore, you guys should decide which phone's selfie result is the perfect match for you. You can see whether you or not you want a soft selfie tone 
whether you like a detailed and a slightly sharp look for the selfies it just totally depends on your personal preference and i would love to hear that in the comment section in the low light and the night mode samsung has a huge job yet to be done the s21 fe's low light and night mode both performances are pathetic pixel 6 and iphone 13 can both take uh, very good night mode photos adding life to the images s21 fe chooses to stay a little blurry this happens in almost all the low light situations there are a few exceptions and this is something that's been happening with samsung devices for the past few months their new devices often have crippled low light output and they fix it with an update the fix hasn't arrived for the s21 fe yet s21 fe does surprise me with its photos where it has to capture a lot of light or uh, the better way to say this would be where the s21 fe has a lot of light to brighten up its images this is where it actually outperforms the other two devices but i would love for it to perform better in the extremely low light conditions as well do tell me which phone's low light or the night mode performance looks better to you i have added some 3x night mode photos here and you will also get some low light selfies in a bit These are now the low light selfies and I think the iPhone just kills it here. It's a very good selfie from the iPhone 13, the S21 FE takes detail rich selfies and the Pixel 6 kind of loses this game here. Uh, the iPhone 13 will give you the best battery output because of its 60Hz refresh rate at first and then the optimizations done by Apple. Pixel 6 also has a lower refresh rate of 90Hz and a lower brightness so it might be able to give you slightly better battery output as well. S21 Fan Edition can easily last for up to 6 hours. I am talking about this Exynos variant only. When I was making this video, I kept the screens of these phones on for about 1 hour and I performed the benchmark test during this time too. By the time I was done, the S21 FE was down to 85% while both the Pixel 6 and iPhone 13 were at 89%. It's time for the conclusion now. The price of the Pixel 6 at the moment is 599 and it's available only in a few countries. It was a great choice as long as S21 FE was at 699 but things are different now. Galaxy S21 Fan Edition is now available for 599 and in some countries it's down to 550. In fact, you can find it for about 499 if you activate it using Best Buy's offer. And the countries where the S21 FE is expensive, remember that in those countries you won't find the Pixel 6 at first and even if you find it, the Pixel 6 will be much more expensive than the S21 FE because it would have been imported by someone independently. So clearly the S21 FE is offering us a whole lot of more features and a much better value for money here. About the iPhone 13, well, it's the most expensive one in our comparison. It's available for $799 and I recommend picking this one up only if you have been a lifelong iPhone user. Otherwise, my choice is S21 FE and I would pick it up any day over other two devices mainly because of the value for money aspect like I said before. That's all from my end. Let me know about your choice in the comments. With that being said, I will sign off and see you all in the next one.